In this video, we'll look at how to get started with the DevExpress checkbox for Blazor. The checkbox component allows you to toggle between two or three states. I'll show you how to build a simple application with a checkbox, how to bind it to various data types, and customize the component. I've already created a Blazor application using the DevExpress template. I open Components, Pages, Index.Razor, the DX checkbox component does not support static render mode, so I enable interactivity on this page. And remove cards from the markup. I add the DX checkbox open and close tags to the page. I also add the component's label. The checkbox component supports Boolean, nullable Boolean, string, and numeric data types. I'll bind the checkbox to the nullable Boolean type. This data type allows the checkbox to have three states checked unchecked, and indeterminate. The indeterminate state is disabled by default. You can allow the checkbox to activate the indeterminate state from code or by user click. I specify the latter option. I run the application and click the checkbox a couple of times. It changes its state from indeterminate to checked, and then to unchecked and back to indeterminate. If you do not allow activating the indeterminate state by click, then the states will switch in the following order indeterminate, checked, unchecked, and then checked again. The checkbox component supports several customization options. I use alignment and label position properties to align the checkbox's text label and check mark relative to each other. I'll align the component to the right. I also place the label to the left of the check mark. For demonstration purposes, I wrap the checkbox component into a div container. If the label is too long to fit the parent component's width, you can use the label wrap mode property to specify how to treat the remaining part of the label. The checkbox can also serve as a switcher. I paste the same markup and set the check type property to switch for the second checkbox. Since the checkbox in switch mode does not support indeterminate state and considers it as unchecked, I remove the Allow Indeterminate State by Click property from the markup. You can now see two checkboxes. All customization options are applied, and both checkboxes work as intended. You can bind the checkbox component to a custom data type, for example, object or enumeration. To do so, you need to specify value checked, value unchecked, and value indeterminate properties so that the component is able to map bound values with states. I'll bind my third checkbox to an enumeration. I run the application again and check the third component several times. The component works as expected. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified about all our new videos. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.